Sunlight rises slowly through the wild tree forest. Skinny, fat, and curvy trees grow leaves and branches in every direction. Near the forest edge stands two versus many. Shadows of trees and enemies surround the knight and his squire and their horses. The sunlight blinds all, looking too deep amongst the trees. Can I help, Sir Johan? Stay here, Alan. The knight presses his gauntlet-covered palm against the boy's chest. Keep Bergy and Buttersweet safe. This is no ordinary land we've entered. Do you understand? Aye, but don't leave the spot, Alan. I have spoken. Sir Johan whispers in his nickering horse's ear. Bergy, take care of them. Sir Johan, covered in dust and dirt and riddled with dings in his armor, looks like a mighty titan in the eyes of Alan. He is larger than most men and broad-shouldered. His helmet was lost in his travels long ago. It leaves his scruffed head of brown hair a target for attack more often than he'd like. Sir Johan trudges off alone to fight those who wish him harm. His holy sword sings in the air upon its release against the metal-edged sheath. This sound echoes a shrill warning to all those in his path. To Johan, the echoing metal sound means only death is coming. He dodges the wild trees towards the silhouetted figures closing in against him. Their steel is drawn as well, reflecting the sunlight back at him. 